her, but it was a solemn as well as symbolic opening ceremony of the Chabad house uh, that reopened six years after a rabbi and his wife were murdered in cold blood in Mumbai's Nariman house. The house of faith uh, reopened as part as museum after extensive renovations. The building's uh, reopening ceremony, of course, saw a special gathering of 25 rabbis representing the Jewish community from all over Asia. In fact, the slain rabbi and his wife, uh, their parents were also there at that solemn opening ceremony that took place at around 12 uh, this afternoon. And part of uh, the uh, Kabad house that has reopened will be a memorial to the victims. In fact, parts of the Kabad house have only been put in glass. Uh, the paint has not, it has not been repainted in parts of uh, the Kabad house. The new rabbi who is now in charge over there took over a few days ago. He and his wife and of course his two children have uh, now moved into the Kabad house six years after it was attacked by terrorists and a rabbi and his wife lost his, lost their life. Tanvi is joining us now. Tanvi, take us through uh, what happened at the opening ceremony of the Kabad house. It was a very solemn occasion. Right. So, uh, as of now, they have ha reopened the Habad house. Now, this is six years after the terrorist attack destroyed the entire building. They've taken quite a while to really uh, renovate the entire place. Now, the first three floors is where the Habad activities will once again start. The fourth and the fifth floor are yet to be renovated. They're completely as the way they were back in 2008 itself. Those are the two floors where they are looking to create a museum uh, in the memory of Rabbi uh, and his wife who lost their lives uh, during the terrorist attack in 2008. And the first three floors you will see a synagogue, uh, you will see prayer activities, uh, a restaurant and an office for the Abad movement itself. What is different from uh, six years ago is the fact that they're not going to be providing accommodation here anymore. That will have to be dealt with at other locations in the city itself because two of the floors have been used. But indeed it is an extremely proud day for a lot of uh, representatives here from, uh, for the Hamad movement because this is their fight uh, to, uh, against evil. This is their fight to rebuild hope one more time and they're saying that they're not really fighting terrorism but they just want peace and they're going to continue these activities in Mumbai despite the terrorist attacks and the loss that they saw at that time. Now in fact Tanvi at that opening ceremony the father of the slain rabbi was also present and he did make a very moving speech. Yes, Tanvi? Well, we seem to be running into some sort of audio trouble with our correspondent on the ground. We'll try and reconnect with her. But uh, the house has been opened part as a museum and part, of course, as religious activities will be conducted.